Custom Trucker here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. We're at the 41st annual Super Rigs Truck Show in Gillette, Wyoming. Looking at some of these trucks. It rained overnight. Some of these drivers are wiping down their rigs. Some are getting ready for judging. Some are getting ready for calendar shoots. You gotta put on sunglasses when you look at this truck. I got my shades on. Good morning, everybody. Hi. Good morning. Morning. How, you How doing? are you? Never ends, does it? No. Especially when it keeps raining. <laughs> That's a uh, God's silly joke on truck show people. Yeah, pretty much. It was looking good. So everybody watching this video, this is Ben Overden. Ben drives for J Transport. Guys are out of Manitoba, right? Winnipeg, yep. Winnipeg. Awesome, man. How long have you been driving trucks? Uh, that's 17 years, I think. Nearly eight for Jade. Eight for Jade? Coming up this November, yep. Yeah. And for the people back home, you're from New Zealand? Yep. And you're driving trucks over there? I was, yep. That's how you start. How did you? How, what made you decide to become a trucker? Uh, I was a passenger with my cousin mm -hmm. for a bit, and yeah, and then went out and got my license. And Do they call them truckers in New Zealand? Are they truckies or? I'd say it's truckers. They as well. are truckers, right? Yep. Yeah. Aren't they called something different, like in Australia? They're like. I don't know what. I don't know if we can call them what we call them. <laughs> <laughs> in camera. How is trucking different over there compared to North America for you? Um, there's lots different. Obviously, the well, the different side of the road for one. Sure. Yeah, the the speed limit. See over there, you're only allowed to do 90k, which is like 50, 55 mile an hour. Okay. That's all, all, that, any, that's all you can any go. Any towing vehicle in New Zealand can only do that. Really? Even your car here. Yeah. So you came here and you're driving some high speeds. Yeah. That must have been hard to get used to. Well, they, we. Most of our trucks are about 65, 68 speed limited. Okay. Mostly yeah. cab overs there? Mostly, yeah. Because you can, yeah. They're all about getting... Left side drive or right side drive? Uh, right. Right side. Yeah. So that must have been really hard getting used to. Yeah, it was a little bit different for sure. Wow. And then what made you decide to, to go to Winnipeg? Uh, this is where I got the job. So I'd randomly added one of their drivers on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And then... Yeah, I was driving a tanker at the time. Yeah. Milk, milk tanker and yeah they um, yeah we ended up, it took the process took about two years to finally get here. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And then you went right to work. And then yeah, they these guys sponsored me and they did all my immigration stuff and they brought me out here and so they believed in you. I guess so. So when you get hired at Jade, do you go right into the show truck, or do you have to work? <laughs> do you have to work your way into into this? I don't think you'd get it straight away. No. No. But all their trucks are nice. So. Right. So what did you start out driving when you started working for Jade? Um, it was. I can't even remember the the year of it now, but it was a it was a Peterbilt flat roof with a um, it was a glider as well. Okay. Yeah. You kept that thing nice and shiny. Green, yeah, I kept. I tried. I tried to anyway, and then I was in that for maybe three months, and then I got that Western Star new. Mhm. Mm I drove that for for maybe a year, I think. Then I went to another flat top, which was maybe maybe a year old, and then then I got my first new one after that, I think. And then they sold that one, and then I got another one obviously and then uh then i had my accident and then they built me my first like, brand oh no that was it would have been my second brand new one okay that they built when i was off off work for that and then i ended up going into this one wow so i can't imagine anybody in trucking hasn't heard of j transport but let's say they haven't okay what can you tell me about j transport and what they haul the history some of the chrome products on the trucks they're using. 
the uh, truck show history. Well, I think as far as a Canadian company goes, I think that'd probably be one of the most successful as far as truck shows and that go. And they've been around just over 50 years now. We had our 50th anniversary maybe three years ago, I think. Okay. And what do we haul? We haul just all sorts of bulk liquid, chemicals and solvents, herbicides, that sort of thing. So you need a hazmat endorsement to yep. pull for these guys, yep. Yeah, well it helps because, yeah. But we do a lot that's not as well, so there's always that option. But about how many trucks are they running their fleet these days? Uh, about a hundred. Wow. Yeah, so we got mainly stainless, but then they've got a, a whole fleet of asphalt trailers as well. So they do all the, the hot oil in the summer. And they mainly do that. Do they run all over 48 states in, in Canada? Yep, yep, we'll go anywhere. Okay. We, we, they've been everywhere. Right. Yeah. Take this thing on the East Coast? I have, yep. Yeah? Yeah. This thing's been out it's there. Pretty brave. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Downtown Philly. Yeah, oh yeah. 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 Wow. What do you like about driving a truck, being a trucker? Just the freedom on the road, really. Yeah, it's yep. good. And the people, especially coming to these things, like the people you meet. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. You it's enjoying just, super rigs? Yeah, it's always a good time. And come out and the people that I've met at these shows, it's it's good. That's kind of, that's the best part, right? The people. Yeah, I know. And if you get a prize, that's a bonus. Even better, You're not right? here for prizes, but the prizes don't hurt. No, they don't. No, it, they don't hurt. It helps. The company appreciates that. Yeah, they definitely do. Yep. yep. Helps, that, that's got to be some pressure on you as, as a company driver, coming down here, taking the time. The truck isn't earning revenue on the road. You're representing, and you want to do the best you can. But you also need the company's help also to give you the tools to do that. Well, exactly, and they do. Yeah. They're very good for that. They support like, you 100%. 100%. Like, whatever supplies you need to clean the truck, mm -hmm. you just take it from the yard and... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's amazing. And, and he do it, and he's Larry. Like understands, you're not gonna win every time, right? Know? Like he just for him, this is the biggest, the big. Every day's a truck show to him. Like yeah, biggest billboard is just having them look like this. And well, can you tell me about this truck? Uh, so the truck was a 2020 Kenworth B model. Yep. That we they brought as a glider. It's a glider kit, so it came in as a day cab. Did you say B model? Yep. Okay. Yep. And it was day cab, so then, then the, this bunk here is up in 95. Okay. That they that they refurbished, reskinned, and put the put the big Peterbilt hole in it. Yeah. Put hole. the bunk on it and the long wheelbase. Yeah, I think it's 280. 280. That's what which I was is as long as you can be in Canada. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know you could be that long in Canada. I thought you had to be shorter. No. Wow. No. That's just great. I bet you get a lot of looks with this thing going down the road. Oh yeah. Yeah? yeah. Breaking a lot of necks? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the CB radio loud when you go down the road and people are calling you? Uh, well, it's not really that... There's not a lot that goes on in there anymore. <laughs> yeah, like that's it, true, yeah. But it's always on. But those old school guys. Oh yeah. They, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey Jade, looking good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you get a lot of that, for yeah. sure. Yeah, Badass ride, Jade. Yeah. yeah. Makes, <laughs> makes it all worthwhile, just a couple of compliments. That's all it takes, yeah. yeah. Makes your day. Yep. You compliment other drivers when you see they get a nice ride? Oh, for sure. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, like the, the work that goes into the keeping them like that. And oh, yeah. Just gonna look around here. Like, What's yeah. the hardest thing about driving a truck, a show truck like this on the roads? Keeping it looking like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about the truck stops? You gotta get in and get out? Yeah, worried about ripping something off with someone yep. backing into you. I've had. I've had someone back into this one. Oh my god. In Georgia, I think it was. Were you in the truck when it happened? Yeah. Did you like lose it? Did you, did, you, yeah. did you stay calm? <laughs> or did you for, the, for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. I've had that happen too. It's not oh, a, it's, it's a sickening feeling. Yeah. Lucky I'd seen it. Because I, I was lying down the bunk and I just looked up and yeah. just pulled on the horn and he only went into my mirror of it. Oh, but still. It's, it could have been worse. It but could have been worse, but it shouldn't have happened either. No, you know, it's, like just, it's just careless. You look worse getting hitting something than getting right. a chicken three or four times. Like I'd rather do that than back yep. into someone. Would you recommend uh, somebody who's never been in the trucking business to get in and start a trucker, being a trucker? Yes and no. Like it's, 
it is it's what you make of it too true it is what are the pros and cons of being a trucker um the cons would be probably like the shippers and that they just don't mm -hmm. care yep like they'll they sit there for hours and no amenities doesn't like, matter how nice your truck is some yeah. of them don't even see it they don't, they don't even notice they don't shit, you walk in there feeling like hey i'm on top of my game here and they're just like go wait go wait go wait yeah. we don't care that you're early yeah. but don't be a minute late no don't be a minute late no yeah and then traffic like mm -hmm. people just like they don't want to be stuck behind you even if yeah. it's for two seconds like even to the next exit and, yeah you know, you've seen it driving me 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 yeah you could be yeah. You can be four lanes and the guy on the far left, he wants that exit and he's coming across. Yep. Just stupid shit like that. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm going to walk around and let you get to clean and thank you so much for talking to me. Yeah. Take a look, come out of it, take a look inside your truck. Yeah, is it, I don't know, is it clean? Hang on, let me check first. <laughs> okay, go ahead. It should be. How many super rigs have you showed at? Um, I do Joplin, Hampshire. Rents and now there's four. Four super rigs. Why do you keep coming back? The people. The people, right? Yeah. And you to make the calendar. Have you made the calendar? Twice now. All right. Yeah. Well, good luck on a, on a third one. Thank you. Truck looks amazing. You got a lot to be proud of. Appreciate that. Thanks for talking to me. I'm gonna go look inside your truck. How's it look? Yep. It's good. Yep. Good All right. Enough. This isn't a judging video. This is just a. I did that inside. Are you? Oh. She clean the inside. <laughs> can, I say, can I say who you are on camera? That's right, yeah. This is my friend Gabby Turk. Gabby was my handler for years <laughs> when I was a social media person at Super Eggs. And Gabby is with Ben here and she's yeah. helping him clean, out, clean the rig out. Yeah. So it's great to see you. It's good it's great to, to see have you on video. And Gabby's my clickbait for the video. I, just, well, it's a, it's a click, no. I don't do clickbait, but you never know. <laughs> So, and I'm very appreciative of everything Gabby has done to me. I've got done to me, <laughs> done for me. <laughs> everything for me. Yes. And, um, yeah. So. It's been a good time. Yeah. Well, what's it like being on the other side cleaning a truck? It is so different. Um, I knew how much work was, like, put into it, but I didn't know, like, to how the much extent. Work. Yeah. Um, Ben's been here since Sunday night. Right. So... It's and you were the guy who's like super OCD about yes. trucks. Yeah. Like yesterday it was raining and we're out in the rain yeah. wiping it down. I'm like, what's yeah. the point in this? But <laughs> we still did it. I didn't complain. Um, but it was good. It's yeah. got to be wild. Like you're here cleaning a truck. It like, is. Did you ever imagine this was going to be you? No. No. But I always used to joke and say that I want to be a truck driver. So now oh, I get right. to date I remember one. that. I remember the first time you were in the snow's truck. Yeah. Yep, so this is cool. Five years ago. Wow. It's, yeah, it's like a I'm prophecy here. come true. I manifested it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Hey, well, get, get back to work. I gotta yes, go look at the truck. I know. <laughs> Beautiful interior, all custom made. No, a lot of these Kenwoods have the button tuck. This is all custom made in house of jade. Nice carpet. The first thing that hits me when I get in this truck is it smells wonderful. It smells really good in here. I love this. It's a clean, classy, not overdone dashboard. My truck's overdone. This is clean and classy. When I get my new truck, I'm taking notes here, Ben. I'm taking notes. I like this nice little shifter here. Shift products. This is a lot of the chrome on the truck is made by Shift Products, which I believe is J Transport. I'm going to verify that. Old school bunk here off of 95. Plenty of room, plenty of leg room. This is great. This is nice, nice truck. Nice company truck. Lot to be proud of. This is really cool. This is nice. I don't want to touch anything. All right. I have one more question. 
Shift Products, is that made by Jade Transport? Yeah, well not, yeah, it's owned by the same family. So they own the same family, so they design their own chrome yep, and stainless? Yeah. Everything on here, like from the fenders, the stack shrouds, the mirror turn signals, I just came with lights that you see on the, the hood and under the frame and stuff. Like they did all these lights. Wow. On this truck, this was like a, All made in house. Yeah. That is amazing. There's stainless trim around there. Oh my God. Around the bottom of the bunk and stuff. That, where all my, um, my airlines and all that. Yep. And they hook up, there's all custom built. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So if you think of something, they'll build it for you pretty much. If, it, if they like the idea, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool, yeah. Yeah. You ever go down the road thinking about, all right, what am I gonna do with the truck next? <laughs> oh, yeah, quite yeah. a lot, but. A lot of time to think. Oh, too much time too to much. think. That's the problem. That, that's a con about trucking, it's too much time to think. There's, there's not really anything I would change on this yeah. thing. Like it's, yeah, like this was Larry's vision and it sits the way he wanted it to sit. So. I like the way he thinks. That's the way it sits. All right, man. Yeah. Well, I'll let you guys get back to work. Thank yeah. you for talking to me from Super Rigs. Thank you, Ben. Thank, Thank you, Gabby. Hi. Gabby, get to work. I'm working. <laughs> She's working. Awesome. Awesome ride. Good people. Some great people here at Super Rigs. I'm fortunate to be friends with Gabby, and she's a good person, and she took care of me for years. Super Rigs, getting my, air, my airline tickets, and getting my hotel reservations and making sure I got where I needed to be. And she's the best, and I'm so happy for her. She's with Ben, they're working it, they're doing their thing. That's it. Oh, let's go, we gotta get an engine shot, see? I always tell you guys in my videos, don't stop the video till the end. Thank you. Let's check the engine out. Flat glass, yeah. That's, where we're that's gonna, my new my new truck's gonna be a flat glass. Yeah. Excited, it'll be my first one. So originally it did have a 60 series Detroit. Huh? Okay, so it had a 60 series. And now we found the 600, yeah. signature 600 that he's that he's put in it and painted it up to match. Okay, show me, show me, show me, show me. Whoa, dude, serious. Hit that like and subscribe button. Shares are always appreciated. Boston Trucker. There it goes.